Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. There may be projects that you run into where you need to use original parts or there just isn't reproductions available. In this case, we're working on a 1933 Chrysler dash and as expected, there just isn't reproductions available for it. This dash was found in a junkyard and it was exposed to the elements for many, many years and has a lot of rust and pitting on it. Now the dash is just a little bit too big to fit in our blast cabinet, so we need to find another way to clean it so that we can restore it. The way that I'm going to do this today is I'm going to take Eastwood Rust Dissolver and dip this part in a bath of Rust Dissolver. I'm going to show you how it turns it into fresh new metal. So let's get started. All right guys, so we've had this in for maybe uh, a little over three hours now, and we wanted to check in and see how it was doing and also give you guys a couple tips to speed up the process. So uh, we're gonna get in and show you guys, I'm gonna tilt this over and you can see just how much rust this dash had on it. And this bottom edge here is a great example. You can just see all the rust that's just literally falling off. So I can just, a little tip you can do is you can use your, if you have gloves on, you can use your finger and just kind of rub along it to knock any of the rust that's kind of still hanging on. It'll help the rust dissolver work a little better. Or another thing you can do if you want to use something a little more abrasive is you can take just a scuff pad like this and we can just go along it like so. And that little bit that was still clinging on that maybe the rust dissolver didn't take off, it's gonna just with little pressure knock it all off. Now what that's also gonna do is it's gonna help you get into some of those areas where maybe the rust dissolver hasn't knocked all the layers off yet. And it's gonna help it work a little faster. So you can see just this bottom edge here, which was probably one of the worst parts of the dash. Nice and clean metal there. So we're gonna put this back in. We're actually gonna let this sit overnight. I'm gonna scrub it a little bit and let it sit at least for a few more hours, if not overnight. And then we're gonna check back and uh, wash this off and see where we're at uh, in the morning. All right, so we pulled the dash out of the rust dissolver bath and wow, what a transformation. I can't believe how solid this dash actually is. Now, after we pulled this out of the rust dissolver, we do need to seal the bare metal up. So I chose to use our fast etch to spray the part down to clean it and also it's gonna leave a phosphoric coating so it's not going to flash rust as a repair of the dash in the future. Now the leftover rust dissolver that we had when we were done, we poured it back into the bottles and we're gonna save it for future projects. To get all the products you saw in this video and others, make sure you visit eastwood.com to get the tools you need to do the job right.